Hey YouTubers, Shel Sullivan here, and welcome back to my channel. This is the third video in the shoulder mounted rocket launcher project. The first video, I showed you how I made the side loading gun cotton combustion chamber. The second video showed you how to use that to create the rocket launcher itself. And in this third video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make the cardboard tubing rockets. They're designed to fit snugly over this three quarter inch PVC tubing. It creates a nice airtight seal very important. They're quick, they're cheap, they're easy to make because trust me, if you live in a wooded area like I do, you're going to lose plenty of them. So wife's going to shoot my rocket launcher up in there. Yep. Hold it straight up as you can. Oh, y'all wiggle that tree. Gotta be kidding me. No, it's in that one. You just gotta wiggle it and come out. It's right there. Look. You can shoot it out, maybe. So let's get started building these rockets. The rockets will be constructed using the following tools and materials. I'll be using masking tape, scissors. We'll need some cardboard tubing. This is simply the tubing left over from a roll of paper towels. And this is the tube left over from a roll of toilet paper for mini rockets. I'm also gonna use cardboard for the fins of the rocket. Now this is thin but corrugated cardboard. It's pretty strong and yet pretty thin. And ironically enough, <laughs> this was the box to the model rocket I bought many months back. This model rocket is what got me interested in sugar rockets and has led to my further fascination with rockets and fireworks and pyrotechnics in general. But this type of cardboard makes excellent fins. The nose cone of these rockets are non-weaponized. So they're blunt tipped rockets. I've used a champagne cork it fits great in that tube and creates a nice blunted end. It's nice and strong. But if you don't drink a lot of champagne, then these half inch PVC end caps work really well. We're gonna use our trusty glue gun for assembly. And of course, if you follow me through this project, you'll end up with a piece of extra PVC, about this much, a little less than two feet, I think. So I've sanded this in smooth and kind of beveled this edge. That's important because we're gonna be fitting rockets down on the end of that, much like we did the barrel of the rocket launcher itself. Now to hold this jig still, I've just stacked me some wood up and set me a vise up here. So I'm gonna drop that down in there, give this a couple turns, and that's gonna hold my pipe still for me while I'm gluing on the fins. The first step is just a simple cut straight up the length of the cardboard tube. After you cut a straight line up your cardboard tubing, have a piece of masking tape ready to go. Fit the cardboard tube over your pipe and squeeze it down until you get a pretty snug fit. At this point, it's also important to check and make sure that the tip, that we've not rolled it up so tight that we can't fit in your nose cone of choice. Be it your leftover champagne corks or your PVC end cap pipe, half inch. All right, once you got your fit like you want it, hold it snugly tight and we'll just tack it off with a short piece of masking tape. We'll add another piece here at the fin side. Now 
and one more piece at the nose cone. All right, our fit looks really good. At this point, we're gonna rough up the outside of the end cap with a bit of sandpaper. That always helps when you're gluing stuff. We're gonna use hot glue to mount this end cap nose cone about right there. So I guess we have like two thirds of the way in. I find leaving about that much out helps kind of protect the end of your rocket. This part here can take quite a bit of damage. So we're gonna add a bead around the inside here, close to the edge, because a lot of this is gonna get pushed back when you insert the end cap. And I'm going to put some on the end cap as well. And in it goes. You take a piece of paper, or the back of a piece of sandpaper works good, and it, something to protect yourself from the heat because hot glue's hot. We'll smooth that out. So I've used a, a, a liberal amount of glue in there, and that's important because you don't want this plug to blow out. But what I've got now is I have a bunch of hot glue that's been squished up internally on the inside of this tube, and I want to make sure that this rests in a nose-down position so that the hot glue doesn't drip further into the inner diameter of this tube. That would prevent it loading onto the PVC pipe properly. So let it rest vertically. for a few minutes to make sure that that hot glue is fully dripped down and cooled down. We've returned the rocket to its jig and now we'll wrap it with tape. We'll start off with a, a diagonal run from the nose to the fin. We'll run a diagonal strip back up to the nose cone. Gonna add some thin side reinforcement. and a bit at the nose cone too. This much tape has made a rocket pretty, that's pretty strong. I've been able to shoot these rockets in repeatedly into cardboard targets um, and they've held up very well. I've had the fins get a little bent up and yeah, sometimes you'll see it start to get a little bendy in the middle, but they hold up nicely. And now we can cut some fins. I haven't bothered making a template for this fin shape. The first time I just eyed it out, it worked well. And I've just kind of roughly eyed it out from each previous design.
four cardboard rocket fins. I suppose you could make some sort of template in order to get these exact, but I've just been I, I've just been eyeing them on. So we'll run a bead of hot glue down the back side of this. And just iron it on, on. I think that looks pretty straight. Just, I just look as soon as you drop it on, and the hot glue is still hot enough that you can make fine adjustments. Look down the length of the rocket tube. Looks pretty good. Have to flip it over and. the upper side next. I had a user suggest that I glue these on at a slight angle to induce some um, some spin stabilization and and he's absolutely correct. Slightly angling these fins will create spin stabilization, so a more accurate flying rocket. But I found that just gluing them as straight as I can and trailing the back edge off by bending each one back a little bit creates plenty of spin stabilization without having to actually angle the whole fin. So two down, two to go. Not bad for just eyeing it. This one's a little crooked here. That's right, because you know what we're going to do? Of course you do. We're going to reinforce this with a bead on each side. And that's perfect because it's going to allow us to make a little final adjustments. Yep, see that loosens the whole thing up just enough again. The other ones are acceptable. But they're going to get another little bead down the corners. All right. That does it pretty much. There we go. Perfect. This feels like a nice airtight. Let's get that thunk. <laughs> And there you have it. Now, as you see, I've painted this one green, and it looks really cool with my camouflage rocket, but I've lost a bunch of them. I've lost a bunch of these rockets. They're so hard to find. They're camouflaged, so when they land in the woods, they're impossible to find. So I recommend maybe some bright orange paint, <laughs> some bright orange and something fluorescent, something that'll grab your attention. If you live in a wooded area, that'll make it a lot easier to find them. Or just shoot horizontally with it. Don't try to um, see if you can make it to space. Okay, YouTubers, that does it. Now you understand the complete build, the complete system for the shoulder mounted rocket launcher. I don't recommend you try that at home um, unless you're an expert at that kind of thing. 
But if you do decide to make this at home, what you should never, ever, ever do is weaponize your rockets. Ooh. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. If you like that video, then please give me a like. If you think a friend might like to check it out, then you know how to do that too. You share it. If you got comments, suggestions, or questions, they go down below and subscribe to my channel. But only if you think I earned it. You can shoot it out, maybe.